Hey guys, what's going on? Sam the Commentator here, back with another new video. Let's check it out. This guy is building a modern planter. Let's see how he does it. Okay, that's actually a pretty good wall. Yes, I, I believe that's the final product. Nice. Do y'all like DIY? Let me know in the comments down below. Create what you want. Just start. So true. So true. And it's true with YouTube channels as well. All you gotta do is wanna do something and then make it happen. It's really easy. So, if you want to do something and you haven't done it before, just try it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just need to keep failing before you get it. And, uh, yeah. Let's get back to the video. DIY Creates is the name The miter saw is one of the few power tools I'll be using. It's so easy to cut wood. I have all the parts cut and ready to go. This literally the perfect pieces to make this. Awesome. I love planters. I love DIY stuff. So if you want me to review one, I'm there for it. Just let me know in the comments down below. Smash the like button and comment and subscribe ring the notification bell you know all that stuff we'll be held together with nothing but wood glue and dowels i'll put some generic labels on the part so i can keep track of which side goes where when i'm labeling i typically like to go with letters i'll put that on both parts that's going to be touching each other it also helps later when you're assembling things you'll instantly know the two letters go together the jig i'm using here is called the dowel max and you can drill up to five holes i'm only going to do three and with that done, I'm going to loosen the jig, shift it to the other side, and drill three additional holes. On this lumber, I'm drilling the face of it. On the adjacent lumber, I'll be drilling the end grain. With the label I made, that helped me keep track of which piece to drill next. So good. So good. That tool... Gotta make sure the measurements are right, so you're not too much off the board. You're not off the board at all. Great tool to have. If you like DIY stuff, go ahead and get it. Be patient if you want Amazon. All that good stuff. Before you move on to the next joint, I always find it helpful to dry fit the parts to make sure they're good. Yep, me too. Exactly. You always have to make sure the parts fit, then take the part off, and then put the glue on. It's the easiest way to do it. it takes a it takes a little bit longer, but it's the easiest it's the easiest way to do it. You gotta try it sometime. It's very handy. In my eyes, this is a good fit. I find this to yep, be a very slow is. process. And I prefer to start on things like this early in the morning. I wouldn't suggest starting a project like this while you have other things going on, like cooking dinner or in between your TV commercials, or even if you work from home and you doing it on your lunch break. Bottom line exactly. is, a lot of patience is required here and you shouldn't feel rushed. Exactly. It's been a while since I drilled this many, hold on, let me say this clearly, holes. Just in case you missed it and you want to know, how do I know which part goes together? I put labels on them. Yep. 
So I'm near the stage of putting everything together. But before I move on and start gluing things together. A mallet and some wood pegs. Easiest way to do it. Never seen it better done like that. Better. Yeah. So. Seriously, try it sometime. Works. It works excellent. Do a dry fit. Always do a dry fit. Always. I generally have more confidence things are going to work out if I do a dry fit. Always, always, always. The only thing I didn't consider is how long it was going to take to do this dry fit. Yeah, it's a lot of time. It takes a but lot. But it was worth it for the confirmation. Yep. And there's the planter box. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. We still have a little bit left to do, but I just wanted to say I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, leave me a comment and say I made it always this far. Yeah. Based on what I see, it's Love good it. enough to start gluing. Yep, now I gotta glue it. Much of the next steps is gonna be self-explanatory. So I'm gonna whip out the glue brush and everything else I need to start gluing. Yes. Let the gluing begin. Perfect. Yes. That's how you gotta do it. Easiest way. Doesn't take too much time. Mm-hmm. Put all that together. Exactly, exactly how I would build that. Perfect. And this is this is the end of the video. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you want more of that specific video, or more of DIY stuff, gaming, any of that, let me know in the comments down below which genre of content you want me to review, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.